channel and today we're going to yard sale. It's 2 a.m. and I can't fall asleep because I'm not tired. Good morning guys, welcome to today. So we're be having a fit and we'll be heading out, which makes me nervous. Anyways, good morning, welcome to today's video. Today is Saturday and it's going to be a crazy day. Yes, we are in crazy town, you I guys. I get to go shopping today. And I know how to make the clay cracking things, so I need dice of clay. Yeah, Sylvia still never lost her passion for clay. She wants Dyson clay. Dyson. Dyson clay. If anybody Am I the only one who can say that? Where the heck to get Dyson clay? Let me know because I do not know. I've and gotten it before. We had to order it or you can buy it local? I ordered it. Mm, let's look. It's maybe at a craft store or at Toys R Us. Anyways, welcome to today's video. It's just I and the beautiful painted horses in that field over there, which reminds me that I might be getting a horse. I am nervous as heck. Like, I can't tell you guys how nervous I am. I'm nervous I'm making the wrong decision. I'm nervous, like, I don't know about the horse now. Like, I can't tell. Like, I spent so much time talking to the lady. The lady is a really beloved lady. Like, she loves her horse, takes, like, it's her child. And it's her only horse, and she boards it, and the horse is, like, really well taken care of. So I don't know if like I don't I can't decode the the language. That's the that's the problem. And it's not my lack of knowledge in the horse department. It's the it's the I do the same thing. Like I I, I don't know. Like I don't know. I don't know if she if I'm experienced enough for this horse. Like I don't know, you guys. I don't know how to decode her. Like the only way I can decode her is to go. I'm waiting for more videos. She sent me a video of her going and experiencing something scary for the first time so she'd never gone on tires before so she took her on tires and literally the horse just sat there was a bit antsy like she doesn't bolt she doesn't buck she doesn't rear she doesn't i mean she doesn't do anything she just like turns around like a little like just turns around but not awful and she looks at it and then she goes out goes for it she's like she's a brave brave horse like the this horse that this breed that I chose, that I think I want the most, is a brave breed. Hopefully I didn't give it away. So she knows if we put it in her field or something, it's not going to kill her? Yeah, like any horse that comes to live I with us is going to... like that. Any horse that comes to live with us is not going to be scared for long because we have so much chaos going on, they get used to it really quick. Our horses are still scared of them. How was Gracie this morning? So how, no, like she just looked normal or was she still down a bit? Sam doesn't know what down looks like. To me. Yeah. All right, well anyway, we'll be home soon and I'll check on her again. Um, so today we are out, we're doing some yard sales and the tax store. You ready for the tax store? I'm ready to start shopping. Mm -hmm. Okay, yard sale number one, giant yard sale in a gorgeous barn. I love a barn. I've always loved barns. It's packed here, and it is a huge yard sale. Oh, I hope we find some. Oh, I found some I'm already in buying right now, as soon as I get out. Something for baby Jack. <laughs> baby, baby Jack and baby area. Baby Jack can drive, and that back can come down, and area can sit in the back. I saw it from a mile away. There's a grasshopper in it. Yeah, there's a grasshopper in it, and I was like, that's for my boy. I told Sophie, go and find what you want, and just pick it up, and I'll come and pay for it. Oh my gosh, you guys, you're not going to believe it. <laughs> it's cute, Sophie, but our house is too small for it. No. It's going on my bed. <laughs> it's too big. No. How much is it? Probably a dollar. I like it, but <laughs> it's too big. Oh, yeah. Lots of stuff here, but we can't find anything that we need. Like literally, there's stuff everywhere. Every single spot. Let's go look at the clothes. Sophie's like, I don't like clothes. Sophie's like, I don't like clothes. Look at red pots. I love red. All right, we are headed home. We went to a couple of yard sales. I bought a bunch of clothes for the grandkids, just some like name brand stuff that they had there. And then we just found a yard sale and it had a bunch of Mary Kay stuff. Mary Kay, if you guys don't know, I don't know if it's in other com countries, it is like a cosmetic line and you guys know I don't wear a lot of makeup the only makeup I wear is the mascara 
and Gabby and I fight over mascara and the thing that the problem with mascara for me is that I always get like a reaction from it like I always feel allergic I always feel like my eyes are thick and heavy like I don't know how to describe it I never do well with it but when I buy Mary Kay mascara which is like $26 a tube it lasts me for like a two months maybe um it doesn't make me feel allergic so I like that stuff so I found yard sale and I got four of them for six dollars for twenty six dollars for one that I just bought like a couple weeks ago and I got four for six dollars so Gabby and I always she's always wanting to use my mascara we both use mascara so yeah score it's actually quite hot out today we're down at the barn it's early still it's like just around noon I hope it's just around noon Gabby's gonna ride Chino. Sophie's gonna play with this pony because she got chubby again. Like, yeah, chubby pony. she literally needs, needs like no food. But because of the problems going with Willow, Gracie, we've had to feed Gracie at different times. And then, of course, Willow steals it. Willow, it takes the lion's share of the food. So, I hate that. He's stretching. It's such a cute baby. Great hunting tool. All right, Chino, you're gonna just do a quick ride, get you, we'll keep you in shape. So what we decided that, that we're gonna do for the show is she's gonna hack on Chino. It's not, it's three, it's three divisions. What is it? It's one division, three trips. I don't know what you call it, but anyway, she's gonna do a hack on Chino at the show. We're gonna try taking him. We're gonna see how he does. If he doesn't do pull up the first round or the second round, we'll pull him, but we're gonna try it. And then she's gonna ride Storm in the jumping because Farrier is on his way. Farrier is coming at three to fix Storm's shoe, so that's good. Chino's going. Uh, so Chino's Storm's gonna jump. Chino's gonna hack, and Finny's gonna do cross rails. So that's what we're doing at the show. Finn's over there flirting with the girls. If you think that I seem really calm and relaxed, it's because I do and I'm gonna regret it. I am calm and relaxed, but I'm a bit panicking because we have to clean tack, pack tack, braid, bath, all of it. And then we all have to go to bed at the crack of night time. Like we have to go to bed early. I told Kaylee if she's coming, Kaylee's gonna be the groom. I said, Kaylee, if you come, you gotta go to bed at 8.30 because that's the time my girls go to bed at show days. She did not like the dewormer at all. Of course, I gave Gracie the medicine and she got a big swelled up in her mouth. Doesn't look like it's swelling anywhere else, but it looks like where I, where I put it in her cheek. She's starting to swell, it's swelling. And then she's chewing it, making it worse. Oh, I don't have any antihistamines. So I had a message our vet that came here. I got the stuff he told me to get. I asked the lady, like, can you give it to the pony? This is, her stress is real. I'm not joking, right? I'm waiting for the vet to tell me uh, what to do for her. Obviously, she's lost a little weight from all this. Y'all know I panic when our horses lose weight. But anyways, I'm out here with Gabby, doing a little ride in her winter coat, in her winter clothes on the hottest day of the year. <laughs> so hot today. Gabby and Chino ride. He's over here with his buddy Storm. So Grace is having a reaction. 
to the dewormer and I freaked out because if it swelled her lip that bad, imagine what it could do to the inside of her. But the vet, the vet thinks it's just a local reaction, so he told me what to do. Chubby's already at work. I love it. Oh, I need the pull through. Me the pull through. Let's see if I have one in my purse. Literally, I carry everything that I find in my purse. I bought this at a yard sale the other day. Right. Thinking like we might need this and then I just left it in my purse. Yeah. But I mean we have a hundred horses to... Can you grab that for me? Oh gosh. Chino's getting big buttons. Oh he's sweaty but not too bad. He's sweaty. So Did you give him treats? Off. Yeah. Uh, no, oh yeah, we didn't even bath them. Are we just not gonna bath them? Finn we needs can a bath. bath. Chino after. Finn needs a bath. And Chino. Why does Finn sweat. need a bath? He's a dirty pony. <laughs> no, because he's a light colored pony. <laughs> yeah, he needs his bum washed and... Farrier's gonna be here in an hour, so you're gonna have to move. I keep checking on Gracie, so I posted a picture on Instagram, but basically I gave her a dewormer this one on the advice of the vet and I checked with the lady at the store to make sure that like it was okay and she said yeah just not for ponies pregnant mares stallions I should have stopped I should have stopped her there not for anybody but regular old horses and I said she didn't say ponies she said foals so not for foals I should have like Why would we to a foal? I don't know anyway obviously it's got some powerful stuff in there and so it only seems local on one side of her mouth. And unfortunately, the vets are closed. I did call him. He'd probably come and give us some um, antihistamines. I could buy some, but I will be buying antihistamines the minute that that vet opens. He said it's not an emergency, but we're watching her, making sure she doesn't swell up. So, yeah, that's, that's the story of Gracie. Like, August has always been a bad month for us. Maybe we should call off this show. Or the show's not been fine. We walked our pole, so I don't know. Finn heard show day and took off running. He's not coming. Storm's like, I'll come. Storm, you're coming. Don't you worry. You're getting your shoe on first. Storm's like, you better not take him. I gotta run and grab the shampoo. Aww. What a handsome boy. All right, here we go. It's a bad, crazy boy. Yeah, let's just let him eat the grass while we wash him down. All right, we back him up there. All right, I am gonna put the camera down, you guys, and help Sophie, and we'll get the job done, and we'll catch up with you. Kaylee's coming later, and it's my guess that she wants to avoid the drama. Discovered, I just discovered something about Finn. I'm gonna show you. Finn loves his face washed. All this time we didn't know. Yeah, he loves it. Okay, he doesn't look like he's... It's hard for me to vlog and do what they like. Oh, yes. But he actually... I even was able to clean out his nose. He actually really enjoys his face washed. I feel like the face is always the part we miss. Oh, yes. Looks like he got stung by a bee. Yeah. He's had that for a while now. Right, one side clean. Got the tail clean. Got this whole side clean. We used the hose. We the used the. Yellow. He's been excellent. Yeah, we're gonna bring Storm in. I just want to show them Gracie's face. My braiding skills. Yeah, I'll show them your braiding skills. Gotta be all cocky, like, whoa, I'm the best now. There she is. No signs of breathing problems. No nothing. I, my vet's gonna get me some. Order me some antihistamines so I have those on hand. Her belly ache is feeling better. Let me show you guys if I can. You guys see it? That big lump there? Hold on. Let's just show them. I've looked like a million times. You see it in there? It's huge, actually. See? Swollen lip. Oh, it doesn't go all the way back. Just local. She's embarrassed. She's just going to hide in the corner. <laughs> She's like, don't look at my swollen lip. She's like, give me more food. 
Will is eating her food and Gracie's food while Gracie's been sick. That's no good, but you know what? It's just really funny. Like her belly ache seems much better now. <laughs> and I feel like summer before I fell off Stella, I hurt my foot in the summer and it hurt for a long time. Like it ached until the minute I fell off Stella and then I had so many more pains and aches that I didn't notice my foot anymore ever again, never felt it again. Um, so Finn's ready. He's looking at salt licks. That's what All right. I'm yeah, looks good. Okay, let's go braid that baby up. Are you gonna help? I'm brushing his tail. All right, you brush his tail. My favorite thing. This is the thing I miss the most. Done. That's her sixth button. That's okay. She's slow and she likes to do it her own way. Got to do it your own way. The crazy thing that I miss about being a part of like a big barn is everybody getting together on Friday night and braiding your horses and doing all the work. Having a bigger barn. Yeah, but. I do love this time when all of us are together as a family down here for hours, stuck in the barn. Whew, it's hot. They all right. <laughs> He's like, oh, I'll have a bath anytime as long as you give me my salt lick. Hi guys, Um, so, Gracie. So I was laying down in the barn on the couch and Gracie kept trying to put her foot up there. So I was wondering what was going on. So then I checked her foot and she had a bunch of rocks in her foot and she wasn't walking around. So now I, I picked her feet and now she's perfectly fine, just eating and moving. And Willow's good too. Did you tell them what happened? Yeah. Yeah, amazing. But she came right up to us on the chair earlier and kept putting her foot up on the chair, her foot up on the chair. And we were like, that's not like you. What the heck? Is your foot swollen now? And uh, Sophie looked and she had big, huge rocks in that foot and she took them out and then she And moved. they were sharp. Yeah, so such a good pony. All right. So we're still, it's been I hours. I told her. Oh, he looks cute. And then I told her to always tell me. When yeah. I'm You're, you told her you will always listen to her? Yeah. Okay. So, uh, Gabby's got her horse done. I got Finny done. He's smelling all the poo because the girls were there. Finn are, likes the fan. Yeah, his braids are not as pretty. I'm not even going to show you. But he's, look at his nice, gorgeous white tail. Yellow tail. Yellow tail. Don't pee on it. He's, he's going to pee. I know he's going to. He's like, you know why he's going to pee? Because he's all clean. No, he smelled and smelled and smelled and now he's going to pee. Why do you think? Because there's girls there. There's his mane right there. That's lit. It's on my job. Uh, because he's marking his territory, I think. I don't know. Anyway, so now I'm going to do Storm. Then I have to run and do some shopping. We got this done early today. So we're going to give him a quick bath. Oh, we need his shampoo. He gets special shampoo. Then he gets for blonde hair. Storm. Uh-oh, are we out of Storm shampoo? <gasps> huh. Oh, got it. Storm got, Storm gets... Uh, shampoo for getting the bot fire eggs off. I never met a horse that doesn't like his underside wash. Like you wash a uh, horse's penis, they I've never seen one. I mean, I have seen them, but he our horses like it's all in there where they can't scratch, where they can't do anything. You wash underneath them, they just love that anywhere they can't reach. Storm's really good for the bath, for a bath. Our horse has gotten better. It's because we got better. Oh yeah, he did not want me to wash underneath his tail and he scrunched his body right up, tucked his butt under. Then I found the bad spot. Oh, probably because it's cold. Because I found he was dirty under there and once you clean that, oh, it changes their attitude, boy. All right. All right, Stormy, I got his nose all clean. Let me see it. They want to see your nose. Whoa, look at those teeth. You should wash those. You got a dirty mouth. He's like, leave my mouth out of this. Oops. All right. Yes, come see what I have to deal with. Oh, poor Gabby. What do you have to deal thick, with? Thick, 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 all right, his thick, thick tail getting it all wet. Yeah, probably. So complicated. Yeah. And then look, you can literally do this and it doesn't even get underneath. under, underneath. He's the opposite of you, huh? All right, I'm just gonna rinse this boy down and then Sam and I are gonna run and go to the grocery store before it closes because I need to get 
You are gonna be with Gabby in the barn. I'm, she's gonna start Storm's main. All right, so I went to the grocery store. I had to get a few last minute things, like a Pop Tarts. Tomorrow we are having bacon and eggs, but I know Kaylee and I know Gabby, and they'll have three bites of bacon and be out the door, and so I bought Pop Tarts. Call me bad mom, I don't care. At least they're gonna be eating before they get up on the horse. But before we get home and we get into the second part of show prep, I wanted to say happy birthday to day by day underscore vlogs underscore fan underscore she had this big post on instagram says it's my birthday my dream would be for day by day to say happy birthday can we maybe get that to happen so happy birthday she's been a super amazing fan page for us and that's so kind like the fact that we even have fan pages blows my mind like editing is such a huge job and people do it just for just, i don't know it's amazing thank you so much and happy birthday don't you know that you're beautiful Don't you know that you're beautiful?